Many people have in the past taken up long journeys in Skyrim. Time spent playing a role, very often the role of a freakishly strong, endurant, and jacked warrior. Although you do not have the dragon blood, with the right tools and methods, you too will build a physique and the capacities which please the divines of Mundus. I warn you now, this program is not for the faint of heart, and I recommend being of an intermediate to advanced level before beginning this program, as the work capacity and recovery needs of the program are very high. And as always, if you want the results of a warrior, you must eat and sleep like one. Best practice is always seven to nine hours of sleep a night and a mild caloric surplus for building muscle. Beginning now with an analysis of the Dragonborn's physique, we see an emphasis on the upper back, especially the upper traps, and the mid-back, the abs and obliques, and the arms, especially the forearms and biceps. This will form the basis of the program. Because this Dragonborn looks to be a bit of a leg day skipper, it's only natural we add more leg training. You can't trek across Skyrim carrying hundreds of pounds of gear with mere chicken legs. So then our goal is essentially close to a strongman physique posterior chain dominant, broad and thick with a huge upper back. With that in mind, let's step into the first day, Dovakin. The first day begins with a pull-push superset, underhand pendle rows for the upper back, and weighted dips to develop the lower and middle chest, shoulders, and the triceps for four sets of five to eight reps per set. Using this superset is going to get a lot of work done quickly and warm up the whole upper body for the remainder of the workout. This is followed with another superset of upright rows and tricep pushdowns for four sets each, both for 10 to 15 reps. This will give more tricep work at a low fatigue cost and work the side and rear delts, traps, and forearms. The day is finished with a quadruple superset, abs, forearms, calves, and neck. I have in this program leg raises, reverse curls, calf raises, and neck curls for three sets each. Here's where you have the most leeway in programming rep schemes but the important part is that you cannot skip this. This is a bundle of all the muscles which give the air of strength and power to a physique, which is necessary for any hero. With the exception of neck training, I believe these exercises fit comfortably in the eight to 20 rep range and have rep ranges that fall within it in the program. The second day starts with stiff leg deadlifts to develop the yoke, but especially the glutes and hamstrings. These will be performed for three sets of six, taking care to fully stretch the hamstrings on each rep. This is followed by a superset of evil, what I call Draugr squats, which are paused zombie squats for three sets of eight, and neutral grip chin-ups for three sets of as many reps as possible. The appearance of a quadruple superset rears its head again, with three sets for sissy squats for as many reps as possible, hammer curls for eight to 12 reps, calf raises for 12 to 20 reps, and decline bench twisting sit-ups for as many reps as possible, or 10 to 15 reps. This day will provide quality work, especially for your upper back, legs, and core, while building brute strength and work capacity, and the fighting spirit that any dragon slayer must have. The third day mirrors the first, insofar as a similar superset happens. Another four sets of five to eight reps of underhand pendle rows are superset with four sets of deficit push-ups for either as many reps as possible, or eight to 12 if you're able to add weight. The weighted deficit push-ups are a great way to simulate a cambered bar bench, and it simply feels like a lift that the Nords of Skyrim would make use of. This is followed by a superset for arms, four sets of hammer curls for 8 to 12 reps for more forearm and bicep work, and skull crushers for 8 to 12 as well for direct triceps work and for targeting the long head of the triceps. The last quadruple set of the program starts here with weighted sit-ups for either as many reps as possible or 10 to 15 reps followed by bent over lateral raises for some rear and side delt work for four sets of 10 to 15, and neck curls and calf raises following the same scheme as on the first day. I add a fourth set of bent over laterals to this day because of the low fatigue cost they represent, making it an easy excuse to give them some extra volume. Simply follow the rest protocol as described before finishing the last odd set. The lower body and yoke are due for more work, and to aid the call, day four arrives, starting with three sets of three reps for deadlifts. Starting the day with a lift which represents your brute strength, 
This is followed by either Romanian deadlifts or good mornings for three sets of six to 10 reps. For more work to the upper back, spinal erectors, mid back, glutes, and hamstrings. Which you do is up to your recovery and personal preference. The last major movement of the day are Bulgarian split squats, which work to improve your quadriceps and your willpower. For four sets of six to 10, performing all sets with one side before performing the remaining sets with the other side. This is superset with larats for the obliques. Larats are full rom hanging knee raises, and with a slight twist are excellent for the obliques. This is to be done for four sets of as many reps as possible, in whatever manner you desire to do them in concert with your split squats. The final superset begins with wide grip shrugs for three sets of 12 to 20. In reality, this can be any trap isolation, but the point is to finish off the traps. The complementing exercise is the decline dumbbell pullover, which works the lats, chest, and lung head of the triceps, and will be performed for three sets of 8 to 12 reps. The final day is an arm day with lots of work for the outer extremities, including some additional work for the hamstrings and calves. The day begins with a superset, triceps bench press, which is a close grip bench press with completely tucked elbows so as to maximally bias the triceps and easy bar curls, both performed for four sets of six to 10 reps. This gets most of the heavy work for the arms out of the way, while accumulating some extra volume for the chest and shoulders. What follows is a triple set for three sets, cable overhead extensions for eight to 12 reps, cable curls for 10 to 15 reps, and decline sit-ups for as many reps as possible, or 10 to 15 reps. This superset is to accumulate more work for the biceps and abdominals, which are of course part of the priorities of the program, but also to target the triceps in the maximally stretched overhead position. Anyone who's done overhead extensions while having a tricep pump will tell you of its potency for stimulating them. What follows is something of a breather. A simple three sets of behind the back finger curls for the forearms for 10 to 15 reps. And lastly, a triple set to round out the program of four sets of neck extensions for 25 reps, three sets of leg curls for 10 to 15, to accumulate more work, yes, but also to help deliver blood to your likely aching hamstrings and unilateral calf raises for as many reps as possible, to provide you with the opportunity to mitigate any imbalances that might arise in the lower leg. When the gods call upon someone for a greater purpose, they do so without asking. Your greater purpose lay far beyond here, but having the capacities of strength of arm, endurance of will and breath, and force of will will no doubt better prepare you for whatever adventures you may face. Through cold or rain, snow, hail, biting wind, thunder and lightning, you will trek to face your destiny over the horizon. What lay beyond, nobody knows. So go forth and seize your birthright and make your ancestors and your descendants proud. If you made it this far in the video, I'd like to thank you for watching. This was a more ambitious video which I never would have made if not for the support of my friends, family, and peers, and viewers like you. Thank you. This exercise regime was made to honor the game which I've spent so many hours in, and a natural thanks goes out to the individual developers and the community of the game. They're what make the game so special, even all these years later. I would ask you now to comment about your thoughts and to like the video, as I bought the complete Skyrim soundtrack just to make it easier to integrate into the background of the video. That's all I have for now. Take care, train hard, and have a great day.